Hey Gemini, what's up guys? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna do a love reading. We don't do them often, so I felt like it was time to do one, you know, break up the madness a little bit. If that's something that interests you, please stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well, hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So first of all, I wanna do a yes or no card. And you know, obviously this is in relation to love, but you can ask whatever you want. There are no rules, okay? I'm going to try not to think of anything like I'm not going to ask a question myself or anything like that. I want this to be purely for you guys. Okay, so get a question in your mind. What is the answer to Gemini's question, please, spirit? What is the answer? What is the answer to Gemini's question, please? All right, let's pick one. How about this one? Okay, so we're going to look at that in a little bit. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. So we have the golden heart that came out, which I thought was so sweet because yes, that does talk about a soulmate connection, a very powerful one too. I'm hearing that some of you guys are going to be, first of all, if you're already in a relationship, I do feel like the bonds are strengthening. Okay. You feel so secure with this person. You feel so safe. If that doesn't fit, that doesn't resonate right off the bat, then this obviously ain't for you. But I do feel like this is definitely the energy of like, I feel safe. I feel secure. I feel like I have met somebody that I could be comfortable with for the first time in a very long time. I feel like I could say anything to this person and they will understand me. Even if they don't necessarily agree, even if we're not on the same page, always, we still respect each other. We still um, value each other's opinions. Okay. So if you are in a connection like that, that is just going to strengthen for some of you guys, it could feel like it's a little unreal at times. Like there's this energy of like, somebody could be too good to be true. You could be feeling that way about somebody, whether you're with somebody or not, maybe Gemini, you're just like, this person is amazing. I just don't even know. Are they too good to be true? You could feel like somebody has a golden heart. Okay. Um, some of you guys are attracted to kindness, okay? You're attracted to people who are kind to people. They're loving, they're gentle. Um, you know, I ain't a killer, but don't push me type of energy too. So it's kind of like, you know, they might have a little feisty side, but when it counts, they're very giving, they're very loving. And this is somebody that, again, you can depend on. I just keep getting that, okay? I'm getting like golden retriever energy. So some of you guys could have a golden retriever, or maybe this person just carries the essence of a golden retriever. Like they're dependable, they're loyal, they're goofy, they're intelligent, they're supportive. It's like that kind of energy, okay? Like somebody who will have your back, all right? Um, for those of you that are not in a relationship, you might be meeting somebody like this, or I got the message too, that some of you guys are creating this energy within your own life. Like, you know how they say you have to be the person that you want to attract? Like, you know, like be the person that you want to be with, okay? Um, some of you guys could really be working on that for sure, okay? Trying to make sure that you're not toxic. I mean, nobody's perfect at the end of the day, right? Nobody is perfect. We all have our little quirks and our little things that we need to work on. And we all have to be, um, you know, compassionate and compromising when we're in relationships, Gemini. But it just feels like you are trying to make yourself a better person. You want to be a good person for whoever your future partner is if you're single, okay? You could be meeting somebody very soon. Says reconciliation, but honestly, I'm getting a reconciliation of souls because this is a very strong soulmate connection. So this is possibly somebody that you have met before, okay? So what do we have going on for love? <clears throat> love for my Gemini gang, okay? What's going on? The energy feels pretty good. They're showing me waves crashing in, okay? So some of you guys, maybe things get really hot or steamy or passionate. Maybe you meet this person at a beach or maybe water is significant. Maybe you guys like to get a lot of baths. I'm getting like a couple in a bathtub together and they're both like reading or something, okay? I'm getting that energy. Look, we have the soulmate card that came out. 
I told you, I feel that very strongly that you are, you are in the presence of a soulmate, Gemini, whether again, whether you're with this person or not, it's like this person is a soulmate. It says, yes, this is your soulmate. Okay. So if that is the confirmation that you needed when it comes to whoever you're with right now, or whoever maybe you're crushing on, you're interested in, you're talking to Gemini. Yes, this person is a soulmate. Wow. It says this could be the one. Holy moly right? It says you already met the romantic partner you seek. All right, Gemini. Okay. Some of you guys, there could be a wedding in your future. Like if you're already dating somebody and you guys are just getting closer, um, I'm getting energy too of a reconciliation. Like some of you guys got back together with somebody and things have been great. Like y'all are not the same people that you were before. You're in completely different spaces and things are just going very well. Okay. But something could be leading to a marriage. There could even be a spiritual marriage. Like you guys are already married on the other side. Like on the other side, that's your soulmate, right? Everybody know this, okay? <laughs> and it's almost this energy of like, we just got to get our physical selves to catch up to this, okay? I'm getting the energy too, because wedding, I mean, I don't pull reversals, but I did notice it in reverse. I'm getting the energy, Gemini, that this could be you or this could be somebody else. So y'all are gonna have to take it as it resonates. But I kind of feel like somebody has met you. This is how I'm going to read this. I feel like somebody has met you and they were not expecting to ever really feel this way about anybody again, to not feel like they could fall in love or they want to get married or they want to commit themselves to anybody. Like I'm hearing like I was a lone ranger or like I am a lone ranger. Like I had went ahead and subsided to the fact that I just rather be alone. I can't trust nobody. Um, and I'm almost getting the energy too, Gemini, that it could be a situation where it's like, if I can't trust them, then they can't trust me, right? So it's like, whether it's them that is the one that's going to hurt somebody or whether it ends up being me that's the one that's going to hurt somebody. Somebody always hurts somebody. Um, some of you guys just have had a lot of painful experiences with love and it just feels unreal. Like, I'm not going to lie, Gemini, I'm kind of Susie side eyeing these two cards right now. I'm not saying that we should expect negative stuff in love readings, like hell no, but it's just that, you know, I've been through a lot when it, when it comes to love and relationships and it, it kind of is sometimes hard to believe that there could be somebody out there that I would feel comfortable with like that again, you know? Um, I don't know. I don't know what everybody else has been through, but it feels like for some of you guys, like love has always been like a game or a competition or something that people feel like they have to win at, like, you know, like... I can't be vulnerable. And in fact, I got to get them hooked first. And then I'm going to be the puppet master. I'm going to be in control. I'm going to pull the strings. It's like, you know, so to meet somebody that you can just open yourself up with, you can feel very vulnerable and you trust them. You believe them when they're telling you that they're not playing games. Actually, in fact, I kind of get the energy that they don't even have to tell you they're not playing games, right? <laughs> What's understood don't need to be spoken. It's kind of that kind of energy, okay? Gemini, I do feel like you've been calling in your soulmate or you're calling in somebody like this, okay? Somebody could look really good in green or in red, Gemini, okay? Or in white, all right? Somebody could look good in those colors. Maybe you just look, chemistry. What the hell's going on, Gemini? What the hell is happening here? I'm just like, what? I'm about to interrogate these cards. Like, what is going on? It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here, Gemini, okay? Maybe this was somebody that you were in separation from a little bit, or maybe you've just been separated for a little bit. I'm getting that too. Like, this is the energy of like, I have been on my own. I've been, you know, again, single as a Pringle. And there's this energy here of like, now this person comes in, they knock my, me off my feet. There's all this chemistry, Okay, somebody could look good in blue too. Red, blue, white, and green is what I'm getting. Um, that could be the somebody's, I don't know, flag colors or something. I, I don't know why those colors would be significant, but they are, okay? Um, yeah, Gemini, I feel like you guys impress each other. Like, whoever this is, who is this? Who is this, Gemini? I feel like you guys impress each other or something. Um, or you're just really captivated by this person or somebody feels that way towards you. Um, Gemini, I feel like somebody could sit here and watch you all day is the energy I'm getting. Like somebody loves it. We have give your relationship a chance with free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life and work on your partnership, Gemini. Okay. Some of you guys feel that way. 
And maybe you feel like, you know, if you have children with this person or something, like it's time to really be serious about this. It's time to be each other's partners. It's time to be on a team, not be enemies, okay? Some of you guys could really feel that way. Like it is time to give my relationship that I'm already in a chance. That is not for everybody, obviously, okay? I do feel like there's this energy here of like where you weren't sure like, I don't know why I'm getting this, guys, but I'm. if you can see their faces, see how she's got her eyes closed. She's very trusting. She's just like, you know, she's feeling it and he's got his eyes open and he's like squinting, like he's suspicious, like, and I don't feel like he's questioning her. That's the thing. Like, I don't feel like this is a situation where this person is questioning her. Like, I don't know if she's good enough. I don't know if she's worth it. I don't know if I want to, you know, wake up and look at her every day. Like, I feel like he's feeling okay with her. I feel like he's not sure about himself. So there's something here where it's like, maybe you've been letting potential slip away, or maybe there's somebody in particular that you just haven't went after them. You haven't given this a chance. You know that this person is into you or something like you've had the signs, right? Um, but you just haven't been sure. I feel like there's this energy whether this is you or somebody else, where it just feels like, you know what? I want to take control of this situation. I'm going to go after mine. Like it's something like that. Okay, maybe you guys have known each other since childhood or maybe there was like, again, it feels like there could be a situation for some of you where it's like you were together and then you separated for a very long time and then you're coming back around or you knew each other, you went your own separate ways, like this could be a childhood friend. Um, that you grew up with, you went to the same school with, something like that. You went your separate ways and then this person's coming back into your life, okay? And they just show up out of the blue and you're like, uh, what? Like, it's something like that, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get some more out here. So what's going on? Because this feels like it's pretty good. So we have children. It says your love life will be affected by children, all right, with passion. Oh, Jim. If you do not want a child, I would protect yourself, right? If you do want a child, this is a good sign. For some of you guys, this is what this is about. Like you are meeting somebody, you're going to be with them, and children are going to come because of that. You could even be getting married or something, all right? There could also be this energy where somebody has kids already, and you're just not sure about introducing your kids to somebody, Somehow children could be affecting a situation. And then we have a past life relationship that's coming out. You have known each other before. That was literally what I was getting, right? That's what I've been saying this whole time. I do feel like there's something here where it's like you've known this person before. Whether or not this was in this lifetime or a different one, either way, there's like an extreme soul recognition for sure. I don't know why I'm getting like these two have met each other when they were younger and then now they're meeting each other again and it just feels passionate this time there's something about that there is for sure something about that let's get one more card out here i think one more card and then we're going to start pulling in the tarot because i'm not getting a lot of like we have reconciliation with stay optimistic about your love life jim and i I'm getting a message for somebody that you might feel like there's no chance in hell to meet somebody new, so you might as well go back to your ex. I don't know about all that. I would only go back to the ex if I really wanted to, right? So there's something here with that. Like, don't feel like you have to settle, Gemini, okay? is also another energy that I'm getting. For some of you, though, if you do want to reconcile with somebody... You know, I know that not everybody wants to, and that's absolutely fine. We're definitely not forcing that message around here or anything like that. Like, you don't have to go back to your past or be interested in them or anything like that, really. But if the card comes out, the card comes out. I feel like there's something here where for some of you guys, it's like you do want to be with somebody from your past or you want to give something a go again <clears throat> is what I'm getting. Yeah, for some of you guys, you want to come in, you want to apologize or you want somebody to apologize to you. You just want to make amends. It feels like you want to give something a go again. Um, and whether this is with somebody new or somebody from your past, for some of you guys, again, you put the whole love thing to bed, okay? You weren't interested in it. It feels like there's something here where it's like it's coming back around and you're like, damn, I kind of want to try again. So some of you guys, you have written off love and you want to try again. You've met somebody that you're like, they're special. There's something different about them. Uh, some of you guys were friends with this person first and you're just like, I feel safe with them. I feel like I can trust them, which I feel like is, is new, right? Because I don't feel like... 
I'm not saying Gemini's have trust issues or anything. I'm just not saying that we don't either, okay? I just feel like there's something here where it's like you haven't felt like you could trust somebody in a very long time and you do feel like you have met somebody that you, I don't know, you feel like you can trust this person. I mean, damn, what do we even read on? Because we have soulmate. This could be the one. It feels like there's a lot of soulmate energy. So let's find out about this person. How about that? Tell us about Gemini's soulmate. Who is this person, this soulmate energy? Let's find out. Oh, that's going to be too many, but I will take the top one, okay? I will take the top one. We have the Seven of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles that came out. So this is somebody who's responsible. This is somebody who is definitely focused on their career, focused on their work, focused on building something, okay? This person could have some kind of skill or talent that's very unique to them, something that they have taken a long time to grow, and they have some kind of harvest here. So this person could be financially stable or at least on the way, okay? And if this person is not financially stable, which I don't know if I could see them not being with the Six of Pentacles, but if this person is not financially stable, this is the type of person that's very grounded. They're very centered, okay? Um, their wealth is not measured in money, right? Like their wealth is measured in their emotional intelligence, okay? How secure they are, how supportive that they are, how honest that they are. They have a lot of integrity. Um, even if they're honest to like a fault or something, like this person might be too honest okay you might have to be like babe just chill you don't need to say all that you don't need to do all that but I love that you're being you right <laughs> just something like that like this is one of those type of people that they're just very honest okay like and so you trust them because it's like damn if they were feeling some type of way they would definitely tell me it's something like that okay this person could be in school this person could be studying something um this person could be on a higher path as well this person could be studying something in regards to religion spirituality something like that this person damn near might be uh considering joining um <laughs> the priesthood or the nunnery or something like that i'm getting something like that guys and, and you might catch them right when they're about to sign up and they're like eh, okay i think i changed my mind there's something here about that that's not for everybody um i feel like this person has a lot of talents this person might be a little bit of a perfectionist too okay there's just something about that like I feel like she walks around her garden and she inspects every grape and she keeps a little journal here of on August 23rd, this grape looked like this, right? <laughs> like it's something like that. Like just very much a perfectionist, likes everything to be in order. This person could have a very clean house, <clears throat> okay? this person might come in and like clean you up a little bit like you know teach you how to organize some things or something they got like a little label maker I don't know it's something like that Gemini like if you open up their pantry they got a label maker they have their own containers they get uh, they get home from the grocery store they take their pancake mix and put it in its own container they take their macaroni noodles their rice their coffee there's like everything is in its own little container they have a label maker they put the label on there Okay, they might even have a little expiration date or something. When they restock, they pour everything out that was already in the container, put the new product in, and then put the old product on top. Like, you know, it's giving something like that. <laughs> this person could also be a couponer. Okay, so they might be very thrifty. Like, this is, hey, that's how you... I'm sorry, I was like, what is that? <laughs> it's my air conditioner coming on. I was like, what the hell is that? Um. Anyways... Uh, yeah, this person could be like a couponer or something. So they might be like very like budget friendly or something. They know how to save their money. They're good with their money. And that is how rich people stay rich, right? They don't stay rich by spending their money. This person might like to invest or something or um, I don't know, Gemini. I'm not getting necessarily like a gambler or anything, but I am getting like financial investments, cryptocurrency, th something like that, okay? This person could definitely be into that. They are working on building their wealth. They are focused on whatever they're building. Their ancestors are proud of the progress that they've made. Like this person has made some kind of progress. Okay, this person has added to their legacy. I do feel like this person is a romantic. This is the type of energy that as she walks around her garden and she looks at her grapes and stuff, she sips her wine. She looks at the sunset, right? She smiles and she, she thinks about how lovely it would be to have somebody beside her doing all this and, you know, being a part of this. Like, this is definitely somebody who is a romantic at heart, but I feel like... Um, 
that's not some kind of energy that they've had in their life for a while so that's not their default mode okay with the page of cups here i'm kind of getting the energy here of like this is somebody who is again a little dreamy they might like fantasy novels or maybe they write fantasy novels or they write poetry or something this could definitely be an author um i'm getting somebody who likes to draw likes to paint this could be somebody who's very artistic I don't know, macrame, right? Paper mache. There's something that they do with their hands, Gemini. That's very creative is the energy I'm getting. Like this person is very creative. You might walk around this person and be like, oh my God, I love that. Where did you get it? And they're like, oh, I made that. I refurbished this piece of driftwood and then I painted it and then I glossed it. And it's like, okay. And then you're like, well, what about that? Where'd you get that? And it's like, oh yeah, I made that too. It's like they do all kinds of art or they have crafts or hobbies or something that they do and <clears throat> excuse me guys they like display it around their house like they have a lot of art that's theirs yeah they're ever um pregnant right ever creative ever abundant let me get some water guys <clears throat> trying to <laughs> I'm like trying to swallow quietly because I was listening to one of my readings and I was like damn you sound like gunk, 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 as you're drinking I was like okay chill out Jessica <laughs> so yeah I'm trying to swallow quietly this camera obviously picks up a lot <clears throat> okay guys so this person could have a lot of intuition they could be a little uh little witchy little bitchy I don't know that's for somebody okay like they are hey they got a freaky side i don't know that's for somebody out there okay let's get some more on this soulmate this is of course male or female guys let's get some more on this soulmate gemini soulmate this this could be the one okay you have a lot of chemistry with this person so this person could have like a melancholy type of energy too like they've been through a lot I don't, I don't feel like this is necessarily somebody who's stuck in sadness. Maybe this is something that they're getting themselves out of. Okay, Gemini, maybe at one point they were stuck in sadness or um, just stuck dwelling on negative things, dwelling on negative things of the past, you know, these spilt cups over here, not focusing on what spirit has, um, you know, waiting for them. That could definitely be for some of you guys, okay? Um, I'm just not saying 275, okay? 75, 57 could be uh, significant. You could meet this person in July. May could be significant for somebody, okay? Nine, I don't know, okay? Seven, five, nine could be significant for somebody. Um, I feel like there's this energy here with the five of cups of this person has overcome a lot. They've been through a lot. I'm getting like a lot of childhood stuff that really scarred them for the rest of their life. It's unfortunate, but it is something that happens, okay? I feel like this person is in counseling or that's something that they're thinking about doing. I could definitely see this person as being in counseling though with the Seven of Pentacles, because this is, with the Seven of Pentacles coming out first, this is definitely somebody who, they are working on their health. They are working on their stability. They are working on being more grounded, being more stable. This could be somebody like, they could mirror that energy with you where you feel like you want to be um you know a good partner for somebody they want to be a good partner for somebody okay i do feel like this person has decided that they're not going to uh, cry over spilt milk anymore like i'm getting a kind of positive energy honestly off of this five of cups the five of cups is not just about dwelling it can also be talking about healing okay about letting go of something about accepting the changes in our lives that happen that aren't so pleasant okay and i feel like this is what this person is doing this person could have also been with a little bit of a thought pocket male or female Okay, this person could have had a lot of people in their past that cheated on them, Gemini. So I'm not saying they're going to be like testing you or anything, but they there could be some kind of energy of like, they're just, you know, that's all they ever know. Like, you know, so it's hard to kind of say that there's not a woman or a man out there that isn't going to cheat because that's all they've ever known is people who come in, lie, cheat, put them in competition, um, you know low-key are not supportive of them like low-key hating jealous because of the accomplishments that they have in their life like they could that's all they could know so it's kind of like it's hard to hold that against them but at the same time they shouldn't judge you based off their past but there could be something like that where <clears throat> they see you and i feel like they feel like they could be very happy with you 
they get instantly excited they feel passionate right they feel the chemistry and then it's like reality comes back in and they're like oh no 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 i have to protect myself i have to separate myself there's this you know this person's too good to be true something like that i did mention that it feels like it right with all this good positive energy it's like whoa what's the, where's the faults where's the flaws you know, but I feel like the faults and the flaws are actually things that they're working on or it's things like that, like trust issues or um, comparing you to their past in a sense. OK, I'm getting that very strongly. We have the emperor coming out. OK, I just heard. Ooh, ooh, I just I just heard. I'm like, am I supposed to say this? <laughs> I don't think it's meant to be vulgar, but it sounds vulgar. But I heard I've licked a lot of salt looking for my sugar. Okay, I have never heard that before. But I heard it when I looked at this King of Cups. Gemini, I feel like this person is somebody who's extremely strong, male or female. This is somebody who they do rule the roost, whatever, wherever their roost is at. This is also somebody who could have like a powerful position at work. Um, this is somebody who, you know, runs a lot of meetings, does a lot of PowerPoints, makes a lot of speeches. You know, this is somebody who is important. Like I, I do feel like this is somebody who has some kind of um, high powered career or they got something going on. They have some kind of kingdom that they're in charge of or empire, I guess I would say with that, okay? Uh, some of you guys, this person had to grow. Like this is the energy of somebody who, they had to grow into this emperor energy. Again, male or female, this is somebody who at one point, maybe they had a lot of addictions, they had a lot of problems, again, stuck in the past because this is somebody who's been hurt a lot. They have been through a lot, Gemini, okay? Well, damn, okay? This is somebody who's a little stubborn, set in their ways. You know, I think I had said it the other day in a reading, like if you're going to come in here and try to leave this situation, I need to perceive that you're doing better than me and not in like a financial way, but like possibly in a way of like, you know, you're grounded, right? You're very stable, like maybe more grounded or more stable than me. Maybe you can kind of chill me out sometimes and help me gain a different perspective on things. Um, it's something like that. So this person, I do feel like this is a leader, <clears throat> okay? And they like to lead situations, but I do feel like this is also somebody who is, again, a little set in their ways, okay? Tell us a little bit about this chemistry when it comes to this person. Okay, that you're feeling. We have the nine of cups that came out. Damn, Gemini. Some of you guys, this could be a red flag for you. I feel like this whole reading might be a red flag for some of you guys. You're like, what the actual hell is happening? Okay. Um, but I feel like there's something here where it's like the chemistry that you feel with this person could feel like a red flag. Like, it's too intense. It's too much. I feel too drawn into this person. Why do I feel so drawn into them? You know, like what is in those cups? You know, there's something about that. Some of you guys could feel like this person might have secrets or something. I don't know why, Gemini, but I feel like I'm getting the more suspicious energy from you. Like, I don't feel like this person's hiding anything. With the Seven of Pentacles and the Emperor out here together, it just really does feel like this person is too legit to quit. Like, this is not somebody who's going to bullshit you. If they're not interested, they're just going to fucking say it. You know, like this isn't somebody who's going to play with you like a cat playing with a mouse and then go, oh, I'm done now, right? This is somebody who's like, they're not even going to play. If they're playing, it's because they really are interested in the first place, you know, because time is money. And I feel like this emperor got a lot to do, okay? So there's something here where it's like, if they're even talking to you, entertaining you, um, texting you, taking you out on dates, whatever it is, Gemini, um, that's because they really are interested in you or they really do want you. I'm kind of getting the, the trust issues. It's coming from like your end, guys, or the other end. Take it as it resonates because the readings could definitely be reverse. And this could, of course, be describing the connection that you're already in. So just take it as it resonates. But I feel like here with this two of pinnacles, it's like being back and forth, being unsure. Like there's a lot of chemistry here, but maybe there's something where it's like your past has shown you that if you're really into somebody, like if you feel a lot of passionate energy towards somebody, it can't be good. Like that's just, that's a red flag. Like I shouldn't be so passionate. I shouldn't want this person so much. And then if I want this person, then they have some kind of control. They have some kind of power over me, right? And so then I get all hooked and attached to them and then they don't want me anymore. And then I'm back to feeling devastated or feeling lost and confused. Um, so this person, 
I feel like it might be you that's having the recovering abandonment issues, Gemini, but this person could also have some abandonment issues that they are working on, okay? I'm getting that so strongly. This person could also, again, have children or somebody has children and they're factoring that in. Like, I don't want to get attached to somebody, bring somebody around my kids, have my kids get attached to them, and then they just decide they don't want to have anything to do with this one day. And then me and my kids are devastated, which is very valid, extremely valid, okay? It's very valid because there's oh, it's bad enough that you or they, somebody, I don't know who I'm reading for. I feel like I'm reading for either or at this point. Um... It's bad enough that somebody would get hurt in this situation, but we can just, can we just please leave the kids out of it? So it's something like that. Some of you guys might feel afraid because you know that your kids would love this person. Like they're great. My kids would love this person. Um, but then what if they decide that they don't love my kids? You know, so it's something like that. Okay. Kids are definitely a factor here. There could also be a choice, Gemini, but if there's a choice, I mean, we, the choice is clear. I don't feel like there is, listen, I don't feel like there is a choice, Gemini, when we have the emperor out here and then kings. Let's just look at this like this would be the empress with queens. Is there really a choice? <laughs> like, is there really a choice here? But I feel like the choice with the kings, it's because it's safer. It's more comfortable. It's something that maybe you're more used to. So there could be somebody who has a choice here in this situation. And it is between something that's brand new, something that's very powerful, something that feels very destined, and then something that is like, it's average to average, right? Like, it's something that I can just, you know... I don't know, Gemini, there could be a little bit of self-esteem issues here too. Like somebody in this connection might feel like they don't measure up. Like, yeah, they're the emperor, but am I the empress? Right? Like, do I even match their energy? What could I contribute to this? What could I give to this? I don't know. I don't know if that's you or the other person, but it just feels like that. It feels like somebody feels a little bit out, like something is out of their league or somebody is out of their league is almost the energy that I'm getting. Okay. Yeah, somebody does not want to be portrayed. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, I do not want to be portrayed. I don't want to get into this and then have this person just all of a sudden decide that I'm not good enough, right? Um, and I do feel like that could be projection, whether that's coming from you, whether that's coming from this person, Gemini, it feels like this could be a projection type of energy because that's what you've experienced in the past. Like, so it's almost like willing to throw the baby out with the bathwater, willing to just stop it before it even gets started because you know how this is going to end. Well, you really don't know how it's going to end. You know how it has ended in the past with other people. But, you know, if this is not the same person, then they deserve a brand new chance. It's something like that, okay? But I do feel like there's a little defensiveness here, especially with the chemistry and how attracted that you are. Um, some of you might feel like you might just damn near pass out as soon as they take their clothes off. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but I get that energy of like, I don't even want this person to kiss me. Like, don't even look at me in my eye. Like, it's like something like that, like... I don't know, Gemini, if you're with somebody and they like seem to avoid eye contact with you or like if you, you know, you're driving in the car with them and you just, you know, you grab their thigh or something or you're rubbing them or whatever. And they're like, stop touching me. Stop. Stop touching me. It's because there's so much passion here. This person literally feels like they can't think straight when you're around or they just looking in your eyes feels like, you know, like this would be like. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm getting that energy of like somebody who's just like, uh, uh, right? <laughs> looking in somebody's eyes like they can't look away. I don't know why. I don't know if this is you or the other person, but somebody feels like somebody is incredibly powerful. And like, maybe that you have good eyes. Like Maybe that you have gorgeous eyes, Gemini, or something, okay? Or, or they do. Somebody, I'm just going to say somebody because I don't know who the fuck I'm reading for at this point. I really don't. It feels like both. Um, but if somebody has like gorgeous eyes, that person's like, oh my God, just don't look at me. <laughs> Please just don't look at me. There's something about that. You make this person feel flustered. This person could, um, be pretty well off in their age or you are Gemini. And it feels like it's invoking some kind of energy of like teenage, you know, fever is really what I'm getting. <clears throat> like feeling very giddy, feeling very nervous, you know, like the stomach drops and all that stuff. And it's just like, oh man. So yeah, there's a lot of chemistry here and somebody is like, that's not a good thing. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Somebody just is like, that's just, yeah, there's something up with that. Okay, we have the star energy, excuse me. We have the star energy and we have the lovers. Ooh, Lord, that's some potent energy right there. Um, the So Aquarius, Gemini, Aries could definitely be significant here. Yeah, somebody's stressing over it too. Like this feels like it's a divine partner or this feels like this is the one, like, and I am stressed. <laughs> There's something about that. I feel like somebody... They see, Gemini, that you are the one. I'm going to read it like that. I feel like somebody sees you as the one, but then at the same time, like, they're scared because of that. Like, oh, man, now I have to step up to the plate. Now this has to be real, you know? So it's almost like somebody could be feeling like I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't type of energy with this five of swords but there's definitely some overthinking going on here somebody is so worried about being betrayed <laughs> like it's almost sad like it almost makes me want to give them a hug because it's like damn what did you go through you know because somebody must have really went through something rough like somebody like ripped their heart out like this is giving the energy of like they ran off with my best friend and they stole my dog right <laughs> like it's something like that like they so and it's not funny I'm sorry I'm laughing and offending people. Um, but it feels like there's something here where it's like this person ran off, did something and then ran off. And it just has totally fucked this person up where now they are scared. Like I get the energy of somebody being scared of love. Wow. Okay. Um, Gemini though, if it do get past that point, <laughs> If it gets past the, the projection and the trust issues and the fear and all of that, I feel like this is going to be a really good time in bed. Like that could be another thing. I don't like that. I don't know. I don't like that energy of somebody seeming like they're like somebody's dream person. And then that person just nitpicking the fuck out of them. Oh, like, so you're good in bed. Well, that must mean that you've done it a lot, right? It's like, okay. It's like, oh, you're really attractive. That must mean this. Oh, you have a lot of money. So that must mean like, it's like, Kind of like somebody, I don't know if it's you, I don't know if it's the other person. Somebody is a little judgmental, a little nitpicky. And if they don't watch out, they could scare this other person off because this person is not here to be nitpicked. They're here to be loved, okay? <laughs> they're here to be trusted. They're here to be respected and they're here to give support and give all that back. Yeah, that's what they're here for, 10 of Pentacles. But if somebody's gonna like be accusatory, like, well, why are you so perfect? Why are you so nice? Why are you so attractive? Why are you so good in bed? Like, it's like, okay, you know, it's giving that kind of energy. It's kind of making me feel a little defensive, like, bruh, is there a problem? Like, honestly, if there's a problem, I can go, you know? So I don't know if that's you, Gemini, or that's the other person's energy that I'm picking up, but it's like, there is gonna have to be some choice here that's made like somebody is going to have to choose to go ahead and surrender and be vulnerable and allow themselves to step into this now why are children uh significant here why are children significant oh lord we have the two of cups that came out with the two of pinnacles some people might feel like they have to choose between their children and love some people might have children where they're like i don't want you to be with anybody else you know, I want you to be with daddy or I want you to be with mommy. I don't want you to be with anybody else. And so if they get with somebody, they feel like they're going to be hurting their children. There, It does feel like there's a choice here when it comes to children. Like I, it does feel like children have some kind of say or they're impacted in some kind of way. Okay. Yeah. Somebody might feel trapped by their children. Maybe that I, I hate to say that. That sounds so awful, but somebody might, they might feel like the choice isn't really theirs because if they bring somebody home to meet their kids, their kids are instantly going to be like, no, there could also be like a, a, a child's mother, a child's father or something that is kind of like, a little like dramatic or something or in the way still or very much a part of the situation like some of you guys could have like a baby mama or something and be like oh no she ain't gonna like me being with somebody new like she's gonna lose it and then she's gonna increase the child support and she's gonna do this and she's gonna do that sorry guys yeah something like that is really the energy that i'm getting okay but you feel very drawn to this person Okay, <clears throat> another message I'm getting 
some of you guys could be younger in age and this person could be older and maybe you have young children and they're like, I don't even, I can't even bend down on one knee to help little junior tie his shoes. Like, how am I supposed to do this? That could be for some of you guys. I'm also getting the energy of somebody who they're older, the girl is younger. They know that she's going to want to have kids, which of course she's young. She wants to live her life. You know, she wants to have children. She wants to be a mother. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I don't feel like this older uh, gentleman feels like there's anything wrong with that either. I just feel like he feels like he's not sure if this is something he wants to do. Like all his children are in college. <laughs> like I'm getting that kind of energy. Like I don't know if I'm ready to have another newborn and a toddler and I can't even chase after them. Like, you know, like, so there's something here where it's like, there's a lot of, it feels like extenuating circumstances that could be causing problems and making people feel like, oh, this is impossible or this is very hard, okay? It just feels like that with the two of pentacles, two of cups, like there's choices here. Some people, again, they might not want children. I don't, I don't, I have children, right? So I'm not saying that there's anything wrong or anything right about it. I mean, everybody has to do what makes them happy. It's just important that there's communication. I almost get the energy here of this is something where somebody's already deciding like on their own, like, well, she's going to want to have kids and I'm too old for that. And or she has young kids and I'm too old for that and woo -de -woo -de -woo and all this. And they don't even include the other person in the conversation. Like, well, okay, hello, what about me? What if I'm willing to say that it's okay? I don't need to have kids. Um, I mean, obviously you already have kids, Gemini. It's oh fucking well, it's see you later, right? It's like, don't let the door hit you where the good Lord splits you because nobody should be choosing no man or woman over their kids, period, okay? But if you don't have kids, it could be something where it's like, well, that's fine. Maybe I wanted to have kids, but maybe I don't. Maybe I could find my fulfillment elsewhere. Like, and this person might be like, well, I don't really want you to have to sacrifice. So there's something complicated like that where it's like we are at an impasse type of energy. <clears throat> okay. If this is the older male, which this sounds really skeezy to say, but I'm not saying that it don't happen. So I'm just going to be real. I feel like if this is the older male, he might feel like he's been gotten a lot. Like every girl, I, and this sounds so terrible, guys. It really does. <sighs> Hold on. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm getting the energy of somebody who, I'm just going to say it. This isn't for everybody. But I'm getting the energy of somebody who's like, every girl I get with ends up pregnant. I'm not trying to have no more kids. Okay? It's like, bro, figure it out. Okay? Either wear a condom or get a better pullout game because something ain't right there if every single person you get with gets pregnant. I'm just saying. Okay? Um... But this could be the reality for somebody, <laughs> okay? This, that just could be the reality, all right? I don't know. I don't know why that's so significant, but it is, okay? We have the sun energy. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like this coming out on top of this past life relationship, Gemini, it just feels like somebody feels like they've known you before or you feel that way. Like there's an instant soul recognition of like, wait, are you sure we haven't met before? You know, like you might compare places like were you in Chicago at this time or did you ever go to this school or where did you grow up? Like because you're you swear that you've met this person before. Like that's the energy I'm getting. Like I swear I've met this person before. Leo energy could be significant, okay? Overall though, I feel like it's also very plain to see that somebody makes you really happy, okay? I'm getting that very strongly. I'm also kind of getting this energy too where somebody maybe was a little bit of a player in their past and they're kind of like, is this going to come back to bite me? Is this my karma? Um, there could also be something where this person doesn't want you to know about their past. <laughs> That's a little messy, but I don't know. That's the energy I'm getting for some of you guys. There could also be something here where this person, when you meet this emperor up here, because I do not feel like this is the same energy. If it is the same energy, they are not the same person anymore. Like this is their past and then this is who they are now, if that's the case. But I kind of feel like this is separate energy. And for some of you guys, there could be some kind of low vibe and fuck boy, fuck girl type of energy that's still hanging on to you um, that is from your past and you just gonna have to let it go. Like look how he's grabbing onto her and clutching onto her. Like let her go already. There's Even in this card, there's like a clutching type of energy. So for some of you guys, you could have somebody from your past that's kind of sniffing around 
right around the time that you meet this person. And this person might recognize that too. Like this person might put themselves into competition with your new boo and this ain't even your new boo yet. You know, like it could be that type of energy of like, it's, you know, <clears throat> I don't know, Gemini, maybe somebody opened up their mouth and they talked too much and they were just like, oh, well, you know what? I'm good. I don't think we need to, you know, give this another shot. I'm actually dating somebody else or I'm interested in somebody else. And they're like, oh, really? Who? Do, do, do. Like this is somebody who possibly could still talk to their ex a little bit and maybe they have kids together or something and then they open their mouth about you, Gemini, and then now this person's looking at you, watching you, interested in you, something like that, okay? Or this person, again, they're putting themselves into competition with this emperor somehow. Give me something on this uh, King of Wands. Yeah, look, <laughs> three of swords. I'm telling you, it's not the same energy. I was feeling that very strongly. And this King of Wands could be really upset, male or female, that you're moving on, Gemini, or that somebody's moving on. Yeah, there could be just a situation where you're just, you do have contact with your ex somehow or somebody does. Somebody has contact with their ex still somehow, whether it's through kids, whether it's through some kind of business um, arrangement. Maybe they had business together, Gemini, and they're not together anymore, but the, obviously the business is still there. So it's like this person is, you know, going to try to make themselves a problem. Like I'm getting that very strongly. Now, a little bit more of a far out type of message, okay? I am getting that for some of you, since this is past life energy, there could be something where this person has hurt you in many lifetimes. And maybe that's why there's some suspicion, okay? Uh, maybe that's why there's a little bit of like this sus energy of like, mm, yeah, I don't know, Mr. Emperor or Mrs. Empress. Like you saying all the right things and you doing all the right things, but there's just something a little bit weird about your energy there, okay? If that's the case, I feel like it's because there is. There's some kind of karma here from a past life. This person could have possibly betrayed you or hurt you or there's been something that's happened in a past life. This lifetime, I do feel like this, and y'all are meant to be together. Listen, you can't. Okay, you can't dispute that. There's something here where it's like y'all are meant to come together and make up for that karma this lifetime, but there's going to have to be a healing of that karma. And for that karma to heal, there has to be some kind of um like triggering of it almost. So you guys might trigger each other, like trigger the hell out of each other. And it's like, how am I supposed to be with you when I just, I have this animosity or I have this, this shit that I need to work out. And it's like, being mindful of that, understanding that you're feeling these emotions and they may not be the most rational emotions and trying to understand where that could be coming from and, you know, releasing those old energetic cords. So it could be something where it's like, you know, releasing whatever negative cords we have in our connection from the past. Like, you know, just saying that, sending a little prayer up, if that's something doing, I like to do visualization. So visualizing, you know, the negative energy dispersing from the connection, you're cutting those old cords so you can have a fresh start in this lifetime that might seriously energetically clear some shit up okay and put you back into like this page energy of like new love type of feeling okay where yeah where you guys want to offer you know it's a slow it's steady but it's honest and it's it's something that is um it's grounded it feels like okay so take it as it resonates but some of you guys could really feel that way all right Gemini, <clears throat> I feel like for the majority of you guys, there's this energy here where it's like you are really focused on your career or that's your career is going to be popping. Like there's something in your life that's going to be blowing up. You're going to get a lot of recognition or doing very well, building something. There could be big business deals that are coming through or there's just big changes that are happening in your life or this person's life when you guys meet. OK, some of y'all might not have nothing going on and you meet this person and it's like. Where do I fit in? This person's like literally running the world right now. They have this going on, that going on, this going on. Like, where could I fit in? You know, this is where communication is really um, important. I don't feel like you should just go up to them and tell them that you're feeling insecure. But, you know, <clears throat> I don't know, Gemini. I don't know how you should have that conversation. I would love to say that we could live in a world where we could be just some completely honest, you know, with people and be like, yeah, you, may, you, you definitely intimidate me, you know, but instead that's like I feel like that's very triggering or that's almost like there's an instant like a pushback I'm getting in your energy of like oh no 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 I would never tell anybody that they intimidate me because then that's just going to be fuel or ammunition for them to use against me later 
That's that kind of mindset that needs to disperse in this connection. You need to feel like you're safe with somebody and they're not going to use things as ammunition for you later. Like they're not going to try to hurt you. They're not going to use your love, use your vulnerabilities against you. If anything, they're going to be like, there's no reason to feel intimidated. Like, I think you're great. You know, like that's the kind of response that I feel like you would want to get. But I don't know if you feel like that's what you would get or you could trust it or something. <clears throat> okay, but the truth of the matter is, you know, one thing for sure and two things for certain. Y'all motherfucking soulmates in this bitch and I don't care what anybody says. Okay, I don't care what even y'all say. Like, it's definitely there. That feeling is there. It's very plain to see, okay? Let's get something for this reconciliation. Look, High Priestess and the Ten of Swords, I told you, Gemini, your past is going to be sniffing around when this new energy shows up. Or you're already in this new energy and the past is sniffing around. This could be somebody who's doing some kind of like, I hate to say recon, but that's what they gave me. So somebody could be in the military here or somebody was in the military or somebody who's just very militant. Like that's just, I don't know, they run a tight ship or something. But I do feel like if you're, for whoever this resonates for, if you if your past like finds out about this person, yeah, they're gonna try to do something underhanded. I hate to say that, but it just is what it is. Like it feels like there's a messy X around here that's gonna be like, see your new person right? <laughs> See your new person and be like, what the fuck? Like there's something like that. For some of you guys, your ex doesn't look anything like what you, this new person looks like. And it's not even on their level. You know, like there's like, and, and that's going to make your ex feel some type of way. Like, oh yeah, for sure. Because I feel like your ex was the type of person that was like, oh, you ain't never going to find nobody better than me. And, you know, I was the best thing that ever happened to your dusty, rusty ass. Like, it's it's given that kind of energy. And so when you walk in with the star and the lovers, they're going to be like, instantly, it's going to pop that head. Like, it's just going to pop it. <clears throat> I don't know why my throat is like this. Okay, this entire reading, it was not like this before I started reading and I'm not one of those tarot readers that blames y'all on my health shit. Okay, like nah, bitch, you just don't drink water. That's what that is. But I am currently drinking water. I feel like there's something here where like there's like a throat chakra blockage or something. Sorry if you guys heard me swallow. <laughs> I'm like so self-conscious about that. Anyways, okay. Yeah, I feel like there's something here with that, okay, where, um, damn, it just feels like there's a messy fucking ex around, and this could be somebody you have a kid with, and they're like, oh, well, we have a kid, and as long as we have this kid, you gonna do this, and you gonna do that, and it's like, oh, Lord, have mercy, no wonder I fucking dumped your ass, like, it's giving that kind of energy, like, your ex is just gonna show exactly why they're your ex, like, I don't wanna deal with this bullshit, like, you know? I don't know, guys. Let's get some advice. Do we want to get soulmate messages? I feel like y'all are like, yes. Let's turn this over. We have let go. Ooh, Gemini. I feel like for your answer to your question, that could mean so many things. So if some of y'all were asking about an ex, maybe an ex came back and it's like, oh, should I, you know, do this and that and the other? Let that shit go. Release them like a like a butterfly, okay, <laughs> into the fucking wind, all right, that's for some of you guys, for others of you, maybe you're just not sure about this new person, like, they seem a little, you know, golden heart-ish, too good to be true, let go, okay, let this situation be what it's gonna be, don't try to control it, damn, okay, let's get messages from the soulmate, please, the new soulmate, not the ex, but I can't help it, if they come out, they come out, but let's get the messages from the soulmate, we have my dreams. It says, I've been dreaming about you. And in my dreams, we are so free and in love. I wish I could stay there forever. Yeah, because it feels like in your dreams, there's not like these responsibilities or these things that are weighing you down or making you feel um, heavy or insecure, okay? Let's get some more messages out here. We have your mind. I get so pissed knowing other people can have you now. Yeah, that's definitely your ex. Is it toxic? Yes, but I don't care. You're mine. We have no one compares, no matter how many people I've met and experiences I've had, there's nobody that compares to you. And then we have soon, I'm going to contact you soon. We have still listening and obsessed. Yeah, that's your fucking ex there for sure, okay? And one more because my son literally just pulled up and I gots to go, guys. He was not supposed to be here yet. He was supposed to be dropped off in an hour. Twin flame, it says you activated my soul 
to find my true purpose, my destiny in life. You helped me heal in ways that no one else could. Thank you for finding me again this time around. Wow. Ain't that exactly what the hell we were just talking about? It is. Okay, guys, I got to go. He's almost at the door. I hope this helps. Hope it resonates. Hope it does something. See you on the next one. Bye.